uh, you should be seeing Mirador. So I just want to talk a little bit about what we're doing here at the center with um, conservation images that um, we make available on our site. So um, you should be seeing Mirador, and on the left you can see uh, a painting where we have um, both our, our usual you know, recto image without the frame, and we usually also provide an image with the color bars, which is the second image in the, in the, the uh, thumbnail strip at the bottom of Mirador. Um, but we also, we've performed uh, conservation work on this painting, and you can see that, as I'll scroll through, that there are a number of detail images that we are making available, um, as well as the framed and, and, and verso and so forth. So what I have right now on the, on the screen is the, the full image on the, on the, in the left pane of Mirador, and on the right, uh, one of the detail images that was shot for conservation purposes. Um, so what I will do now is close this and scroll over. And we have what what we're doing though is instead of having these images just sit there in a uh, separately in that list of canvases, is we're creating a canvas that's a conservation overlay um, that brings together a, the the set of conservation images that was taken. Um, so I've opened the layers panel, which is available on newer versions of Mirador, and it shows you that on this single canvas, we have um, quite a few images available. Let's scroll through the list here. Um, and I can adjust the, uh, I can adjust whether they're visible or not, and control the opacity. So thanks to the Mirador developers for including this great functionality. But what's interesting for conservation, of course, is that we can then um, activate and display detail images overlaid on the canvas and registered with the uh, underlying image. So you can see that I'm turning them on and off. And again, this is simply by add, uh, accomplished simply by adding additional annotations to that canvas. Um, we register the images using uh, offline tools and then create, create a canvas that has them positioned correctly. Um, and one of the benefits of that is that the, uh, or of using Mirador Open Sea Dragon, is that each of these detail images might be roughly the same resolution as the, the, um, the base image on the canvas. Or, so as we as we uh, zoom in, you'll see that we're not limited by the resolution of the underlying image, which is fairly low res, um, that UV image. But we actually can can zoom in on the complete detail of the of the, the detail shot that was taken and overlaid on the canvas. So it's like we get a, a much higher effective resolution out of the out of the viewer on this. Um, and of course, we can control also the, uh, the opacity of the overlay so that we can see details in the underlying UV shot. And I'll just show one other example of this that might be a little bit more interesting um, from, a, from the point of view of a, a lay viewer like myself who's, who's not a, a conservation expert. But um, here's, here's an x-ray view of one of our paintings. And if I overlay the visible light image and I zoom in, um, you know, I can start to crossfade them. And you can see that in the under, underlying drawing, you can see that there was, there was a, uh, she, the subject was wearing a bonnet around her, around her head there. And, you know, as you, as you fade out back to the visible light, you see it was removed and overpainted. Um, and, so the, the composition changed significantly in, in that regard uh, on the image. So this is an example, I think, of what we hope to do more of, which is, which is we've already exposed these conservation images for paintings where we've done substantial amounts of conservation work. Um, we hope to be able to present them in a way that um, you know, allows this sort of manipulation to happen um, and perhaps even eventually to link uh, through annotation you know, notes or uh, um, 
observations from the conservators on, on these images. So that's all I have. Um, and again, we're using we're using some standard IIIF functionality and and you know uh, the stock Mirador instance to do this.